Hey guys, this is Skylar with Stoner Car Care, and today we're gonna go over the best method for drying your car. So let's get into it. So the first method we're gonna be going over today is microfiber towels. These are great because they're soft, absorbent, and wrinkle-free. And on top of that, if cared for properly, reusable. I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to watch that video. So some techniques for using a microfiber cloth is wiping using back and forth motions and to make sure you avoid circular patterns that can cause water spots or streaks on your paint. Wiping in a circular motion can also cause swirls. Blotting is another great technique to soak up water without wiping. Quarter the towel, pat it down, and the towel will soak it up. And lastly, if you see it becomes difficult to dry your car, grab a drying aid and spray it across your exterior to apply additional lubrication. So the next method we're gonna be talking about are wire blades. Water blades are great because they have a high grade silicone blade on it to make it easier to push off the water when you glide over your paint or glass. So we're gonna be going over some techniques to make sure you don't damage your paint or glass. So the softness of the silicone allows it to guide smoothly across your paint or glass and little force is needed, but just be careful adding too much force or pressure because it can damage your exterior or glass. So the next method we're gonna be talking about are chamois. Chamois have been around for a long time. They're effective and most commonly used for polishing or drying. This is great because you don't have to wring it, wring it out as much as a microfiber cloth, and you can use it for an entire car instead of grabbing more than one. Before using a chamois to dry your car, make sure it's damp, wring it out, and soak it several times to loosen up the material. A little fun fact if you didn't know, chamois actually derive from goat skin, sheep, or deer. So, if, so for a chamois, it's the same technique as a microfiber tile. So just apply to your paint and drag it towards you. Just like microfibers, you'll wanna take care of your chamois. If not cared for properly, they can dry up hard, which if that happens, it can most likely scratch your surface of your car. So the final method we'll be talking about today is a leaf blower or air dryer. This is the safest way to dry your car because there's less friction going on your paint as a microfiber or a drying towel would have. Air drying might seem self-explanatory, but to make sure you don't get water lingering, water spots, or streaks, you wanna make sure you get panel by panel and get all the nooks and crannies It'd also be helpful if you have a wax or sealant as well. A good wax or sealant will help the water slide right off. So out of all the tools, it's really just a personal preference depending on the type of job you're working on. Our biggest suggestion is just making sure you have some type of protection in your car to make drying a lot easier. And that's all it takes. Let us know in the comments what kind of drying methods you use to dry your car. See you in the next one.